Hi guys, it's Heather, and today I'm going to share with you guys an interior design transformation that I did recently. So I'm going to show you guys the before pictures, the after pictures, and then I'll come back to speak with you just a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is what the client's room looked like before, and you can see that it was a very, very dark space. This is in the middle of the day with all of the lights on, and it was very dark, a little bit dreary, and a lot of that had to do with the paint color and the lighting scheme throughout the space. So that was one of the first things that we opted to change in this room. Can, if we go on, I'm gonna show you here what the fireplace looked like before, it had this gold trim in here. It was pretty dated, but it did have some great features like this original brick and this great big mantle on it. So we decided to really capitalize on that. The homeowner did have some a couple of pieces of furniture in here, such as this chair and this sofa, but they weren't quite right for the space and they weren't quite giving that feeling that she wanted to achieve, which was the really nice sort of cozy pottery barn slash restoration hardware type of feel with some rustic pieces, but also light and bright and airy and just super duper cozy. Leather almost never feels cozy. It's cold on the skin and it's sticky in the summer and it's just big, heavy pieces of furniture that don't lend themselves well to smaller spaces. So we did get rid of the sofa and we opted for something in a fabric that you're going to see later on in the video. We did, however, keep these chairs in the sitting room because they are the most comfortable chairs of all time and I swear by them, they don't look comfortable at all. They're done in a metal. How could a metal chair be all that comfortable? But oh my gosh, just the way that they're curved and the actual cushioning on them is to die for when you're sitting in them. So the homeowner definitely wanted to keep these in her space, so we were able to achieve that for her. This is what the room looks like after. So as you can see, we ended up switching the wall that the sofa is on with the wall that the chair was on before. We ended up layering in a lot of lighting and really brightening up the space by painting it out with this really super light gray color. This color here is called Great Owl by Benjamin Moore. The fireplace was sprayed out in a matte black finish, which makes it far more updated, and the mantle was painted out to match the trim. It feels like a, an entirely new fireplace, even though it was probably done for maybe around $25, the entire thing. We used the homeowner's old chest. This was actually an antique that was passed down from her grandmother, and we ended up using that. It was up against the wall and just sort of not really being used, being used as more of the TV stand before. We ended up using it as the coffee table, and it really is a conversational piece in this room and gives it that little bit of warmth and interest as well as functionality, and it saved us from having to buy another piece of furniture, which is great on budget. When arranging this space, we ended up choosing a focal point and really putting all of the pieces of furniture around it. In this case, the natural focal point is, of course, the fireplace. So you can see how we rearranged the furniture around the fireplace here, and we have everything sort of going in and around towards this surface. It makes the room a whole lot more conversational, and that is definitely how you would start a furniture arrangement in any room and any space. We also played with the lighting quite a bit in this room by layering some sconces up on this wall over here, as well as some lamps over here. Before this room only had one little track lighting right up above the fireplace, and that was it for the entire space. In the sitting room, we didn't do a whole lot other than painting out the space and adding a rug, pulling the chairs out away from the wall, and adding a bit more seating so that the homeowner could use this as more of a bar area. The rug itself is so soft and so cozy. We picked this up for about $199 at HomeSense, really inexpensive, and you just wanna rub your face on it. It's literally the softest rug in the world, I think, and it just goes so well with these super, super comfy chairs. Across from the chairs, we did a little bar area up for the homeowner, by adding some of, a lot of her glassware in here. We also added in some personal touches like the photo book from Iceland um, from a recent trip that she's been and a couple little artifacts that she had laying around as well. Didn't really know what to do with them. 
Because this is a bar, you don't really need as much counter space because all you're going to be doing is pouring a drink. You're not really going to be displaying food or anything like that. Right beside the two chairs is a big long peninsula that goes into the kitchen. That's where you'd be putting all those things. So it's okay to have a little bit more on the countertop than you otherwise normally would. So in this case, we put useful items like her decanter, her ice bucket, there's a pitcher back here. We put in some fake flowers, but certainly if the pitcher ever needed to be used, it's there where it needs to be. And then also some of her red wines and just some of the things that didn't either fit in the shelves or needed to be out at room temperature. This little bird actually opens up, so it's a great place to put things like lemons and limes or sugar cubes or other things that you might need when serving liquor. And the piece de resonance in this room is this awesome Edison bulb raw fixture. It just lends itself to the character of the home so well, and it was just also something that the homeowner absolutely loved. These bulbs with the filament showing are called Edison bulbs and you can pick them up on Amazon or at your local lighting store. If you have an older home, it's a really great idea to use something that does have a um, more of an Edison bulb or retro type of feeling whenever the bulbs are showing. So if you have a light and the bulb is going to be showing, you have an older home, pick up something like this. It's a lot prettier than sort of those fluorescent like spun bulbs that are everywhere right now. Um, they're, they're still pretty good as far as energy efficiency goes and most of them are dimmable as well. Just make sure that you read your packaging. So I hope you guys like the transformation. This is what I do kind of in my everyday life and I'm hoping to share a few more of these transformations with you guys as we complete them. Sometimes a project takes a really long time because the furniture takes forever to come in and then, you know, there's all of the decision making that the clients go through and sometimes that takes a really long time. So, um, you know, I think this project here, we've been working on since probably June and we just installed last week. If you like this video and you want to see more transformations, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Become a part of the Design Life family. I really and truly hope that you do. I love reading your comments as well, so make sure that you leave those in the box below. And you can also find more Design Life on Facebook, facebook.com slash Design Life YouTube. You can also find us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and on Tumblr. All of the links to those are below. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.